of, of a Libyan-owned process and the full engagement of all Libyan parties involved, we committed in Paris on May 29, 2018, under the auspices of the United Nations and in the presence of the representatives of the international community, to work constructively with the UN to realize credible and peaceful elections as soon as possible and to respect the results of these elections when they occur. We further agreed the following principles in support of the UN's effort to stabilize Libya. Number one, recognition of the importance of developing a constitutional basis for elections and support for the United Nations Special Representative of the Secretary General as he consults with Libyan authorities on a proposal and timeline for adopting the Constitution. The adoption of the Constitution will be a key moment for the sovereignty of the Libyan nation. Second point, agreement on the organization of parliamentary as well as presidential elections as determined by the SRSG in consultation with the Government of National Accord, House of Representatives, the High State Council and the High National Electoral Commission. The parties have committed to set the constitutional basis for elections and adopt the necessary electoral laws by September 16, 2018 and hold parliamentary and presidential elections on December 10, 2018. Elections must be well prepared with all Libyan institutions to advance the shared objective of stabilizing and unifying Libya. Third point. Commit solemnly to accept the requirements for elections outlined in the SRSG's briefing to the UN Security Council on May 21, including a new session of voter registration uh, for an additional period determined by the UN. Libyan leaders commit to accept the results of elections and ensure appropriate funds and strong security arrangements are in place. Those who violate or obstruct the electoral process will be held accountable. Fourth point, agreement to work constructively with the United Nations to ensure that the required technical, legislative, political and security conditions are in place for national elections, including the adoption and implementation of the requisite electoral laws by the House of Representatives according to the adopted timeline and the consultation mechanism with the High Council of State agreed on the LPA. Fifth point, Libya's security forces with appropriate support and coordination from the United Nations as well as regional organizations and international community will be responsible for safeguarding the electoral process and ensuring the right of all Libyans to peacefully and democratically expressing the, their will about the country's future. Any obstruction or interference with the voting process will not be tolerated and those responsible will be held accountable. Six point, commitment to improve the atmosphere for national elections by all means possible, including by moving the seat of the House of Representatives in line with the constitutional declaration and phasing out parallel government and institutions and for the House of Representatives and the High uh, Security Council, uh, the um, high, uh, st high State Council to work immediately on uh, the unifying of the Libyan Central Bank and other institutions. Seventh point, commitment to support the United Nations efforts to in building professional, accountable and unified military and security institutions uh, to encourage the ongoing Cairo dialogue and to work constructively towards the unification of Libya's military and security institutions. Eighth point, agreement to participate in an inclusive political conference to follow up on the implementation of this statement under the UN auspices and with respect for the time frame and modalities determined by the SRSG alongside with Libyan institutions. As Libyan leaders make these commitments, the international community stands united in support of all Libyans as they work constructively with the UN towards credible, secure and peaceful national elections and strive to realize a more prosperous future for the people of Libya through appropriate and substantial reforms to their economic model. Joint declaration made by Fayez al Saraj, Aguila Saleh, Khalid uh, Meshri, and Khalifa Haftar. Confirm their approval. Do the 
the three chairmen as well as field uh, marshal, uh, do they approve this declaration? This shows that everyone is working together towards a peaceful conclusion in Libya.